Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 to 27. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem. Coming down from God out of heaven. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great wise out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away and he that sat on the throne said Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done a mouth for Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him, I will give unto him that is a test of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my people, but the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and homemongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And they came unto me, one of the seven angels, which had seven wells full of the seven lost plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come, Heter, I will shew unto thee. The bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. And showed me that great city, holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God. Her light was like unto a stone most precious. Even like a jasper stone clear as crystal. And had a wall great and high. And had two gates. And at gates two angels. And names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations. And in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city. And the gates thereof, and the wall thereof, and the city light for square, and the land is as large as, as a breath. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs, and the length and breadth and height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof, and hundred forty and four cubics, according to the measurement of a man, that is of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper. And the city was pure gold. Like in a clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was of jasper. The second sapphire. The third a child Sardani. The fourth an emerald. The fifth sardon axe. The sixth sordias. The seventh chrysolite, the eighth battle, the ninth, the topaz, the tenth, a chrysoprosis, the eleventh, a jacinth, the twelfth, an amethyst, the twelve gates were twelve pearls, every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb of the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun neither of the moon to shine in it. For the glory of God did light in it and the Lamb is a light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth to bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shed at all by day, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall 
in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh of any abomination, and make it alive by they which are written in the Lamb's book of life.